Temperatures are now up to 87 here in San Antonio on our way to uh, mid 90s this afternoon. It is also rather humid out there, so starting to see some heat index values jump up. Be careful. It's going to be hot this weekend and uh, certainly on Mother's Day, even though that high temperatures around 98, it's going to feel hotter than that with that humidity. Uh, slight chance of a storm or two Monday and Tuesday evening. Other than that, this is a dry, hot summer like forecast. It sure is. Thank you, Justin. So if you're off, go find a pool. Hang out for a little bit, then dry off before the five and six. Okay. <laughs> SA Live's up know next. If that's possible. <laughs> <laughs> Celebrate San Antonio. Coming to you live from Historic Market Square. This is SA Live. Oh, Aww. hello and happy Friday. Beautiful Mother's picture. Day weekend, of course, and that is of three generations in my family. My mom, me, and of course, flashback to little Beautiful tiny snow. Mom, Leslie. Hi, mm -hmm. Leslie. If you're watching right now. And next, we have a picture. There's me and my mom. And 95 years old, and of course, my beautiful wife and our two boys. Oh, look at that. I, can't, I still can't believe how grown up they are now. And oh. Jen and her lovely mom. Met her, she's been here before, and that's where Jen look at gets that. her sweetness and beauty from. You can see the resemblance, from. too. Look oh, at them. Goodness. So, happy Mother's Day weekend, everyone. I'm Fiona Gorstiza. And I'm Mike Ostrage, and of course, we are just two days away mm -hmm. from Mother's Day, and we want you to share all the the pictures nice things about all the moms in yeah. your life yes so share them at sa live case out on facebook and twitter and we'd love to show a few of those a little later on in the show well of course mother's day weekend and you know mom deserves a great meal to kick off her day and our next guest has one of the most popular brunch spots in town and they are ready to make mom a meal fit for the queen that she is, right? <laughs> yes. Chef James Moore from Full Belly Cafe and Bar is here to show us one of the amazing dishes on their brunch menu for Mother's Day weekend and even beyond, right? Yes, every day, mm -hmm. every day of the week. <laughs> okay, what are we making? So today we are going to be doing a buckwheat souffle pancake. So I see you're getting right into it. I like that, proactive. <laughs> um, a good sous chef plenty, that she is. Well, <laughs> plenty of butter on the griddle. Um, Cause husky boys like me yep. like like lots of butter. Okay. All right. So that's a great start. And then what we have the we have the batter prepared here. So you can just throw in throw in some dollops about the size of like a, what a baseball okay. might and be. And now like a, a souffle pancake, which sounds really really exotic and perfect. hard to make. What basically is it? So that's a normal pancake batter. It has baking powder and baking soda, mm -hmm. as well as what we do is we separate the yolks and the whites, and then we whip the whites into a meringue. So we incorporate a bunch of air into it and make a, a stiff meringue, and then fold that back in, and that helps give it uh, rise. Okay, so even though the, the baking soda and the baking powder will give it rise, this does yep. so, because sometimes if you don't do that and you don't get the right ingredients in the, and you stir too much, it, yeah, I mean, pancakes can be like a little piece of plywood almost or something. Yeah, almost. exactly. Some of them give it like flat, hard, and yeah. it depends. Everybody likes them differently, but we're going for a rise and fluff here today. Now, uh, when, how far in advance should you make a pancake batter? Because I've heard sometimes yep. you got to give it long enough to get the ingredients to act, time to activate and rise. Yep. Honestly, I think it's good to make it moments before you're ready to use it. Okay. Sometimes you might lose a little bit of uh, some of the, the rise that you're going for. Um, so, oh, I like your style, Mike. You're getting right after it, too. This is good. This is good. I'm like glad we, we prepared for this. All right. All right. Well, well, she's doing those. What is the cocktail that we're making here? That looks here, great, so. Fiona. You're doing an amazing job. <laughs> so we're gonna, we've are gonna we got a little uh, drink here that's on our, our brunch menu. It's called putting on the spritz, and it's just I a slight that. variation of an Aperol spritz. Okay. So you've got some orange liqueur and some simple syrup and mm -hmm. Aperol I see right there. Then we also have some Tito's vodka as well Ooh, right okay. on the end and so i saw you throwing some ice already you can throw shake the lid it, right baby. on yeah. top shake it yeah baby that's how you do it okay and you may have seen this in the past and we've been fighting to get this off yes. and i know you're supposed to hit it and the trick is i've always hit it there you hit it on the side right hit it on the side okay. right in, yep in that or, gap or and it should there it, it is the, boom you can just smack it on it the plywood right yep. there okay and right on the plywood and, and so ice. then you can split that between both glasses over there yep pour it with the ice as unless well I, unless i want to drink it all and then 
if we need more ice, we have some that we can throw. And then how we finish the drink as well. And this is the part where I like to throw the garnish right in so it kind of floats around in there. Mm -hmm. Is you could throw maybe a, a lemon and an orange segment in each one oh, okay. while you're over there. Um, and then we'll, we need to get things popped off here and s popped and topped. So a little bit of Topo Chico is great. And then some bubbles as well. So why Topo Chico and champagne? Um, we'd like a little bit of, uh, right? uh, 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 watch oh. your eyes. Oh, that, bam. Oh. <laughs> nice. Well done. Mazel tov. Touchdown. <laughs> yes. Mazel tov. <laughs> um, beautiful. Well done. Thank so you. we like a little bit. So one, it, there's already several types of alcohol in here. So we get some carbonation without getting too boozy because we do have to get up and walk at some point after <laughs> drinking these. Okay. So yeah. a little bit of both helps it go a long way. And this is great because you can start seeing the bubbles coming up here in these yep. in these pancakes. Ha Happy Mother's Day. Happy so, Mother's so, Day. Happy Mother's Day. All right, so while these are kind of finishing up, how did Full Belly get started? Um, actually, we um, we started that that all right? Yeah, it's yeah. beautiful. It looks great. We opened for the first time about 32 days before uh, mandatory lockdown um, in February of 2020. So we are open literally about 30 days. We closed. <laughs> for about seven months and we reopened for the last time um, in October of 2020. Okay. So it's been about a year, a uh, year and a half since then. And the idea was just to have a concept based around like dough, so all of the breads and pastries that we all make in house, the batters, mm -hmm. um, it's all done in house. And so everything that you get on there, whether it's French toast or burgers, Everything uh, is part of our bakery component. And so you're out there in Ontario, but you got another location that's going to be we opening do. up soon? Yep, and, and probably uh, late summer, early fall, uh, we're going to be doing a second location um, in Alma's Park on McCullough. So we're very much looking forward to that and, okay. and sharing the love for the central part of the city as well. And so, oh, yeah. Take a bite yeah. right there. Okay. There you go. There you go. All right. So. Mm. Folks, there's still maybe some availability tomorrow, right? And even next week. Yes, um, Mother's Day may be, may be tight Good this stuff. weekend, but we are open eight to three every day. Mm -hmm. um, and we do have a few uh, spaces available for Saturday, mm -hmm. but also um, it's the same menu every day of the week. So if you can't make it on the weekend, Monday through Friday is, is just as good of a time to bring it. Perfect. Bring them all. All mm. right. <laughs> Nice, Love right? Yes. All right. Thank you so much. All right. For more information on Full Belly Cafe and Bar, just head to our website, salive.com, and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab, or just snap that QR code on your screen. Okay. So has mom been asking for her own little happy space, you know, she shed, even just a little shack or something like that? <laughs> well, maybe a little nook where she can get more creative, you know, work out or just find peace and do a little bit of work. Yes. The new San Antonio company is creating these mini escapes in your yard, bringing the comforts of home into to a small sanctuary and they call it, you know, some elbow, elbow room. <laughs> Thank you. Oh. From a creative sanctuary to a home office, some elbow room is making it easier to create a happy space right in your backyard. The concept is simple. You're building basically a tiny house right in your backyard. Aaron, Amy, I'm so excited to be here. We have an elbow room here. We're gonna get a sneak peek in a minute, but first we wanna talk about how this business started. It got started because my husband and I, we had a um, argument during COVID mm -hmm. over all my art stuff being around. So I asked him to build me, basically to build me a she shed in the backyard. Yes, yes. And I didn't wanna get hot because the summer was coming up. And so I just kept telling him, can you put in a mini split? Can you put in walls? Can you just make this more and more comfortable for me? Mm -hmm. And so he did. It took him all summer, um, but we we built it with the intention of turning it into a business. So you wanted an art studio, and then your husband put this together. Uh, did people start noticing? Like, hey, what you yeah. got back there? <laughs> our, our neighbors started peeking yeah. over the fence yeah. and wanting to know what was going on. <laughs> yeah, I know this client has a drum set, right? Yes. Uh, you mentioned art studio, but yoga, exercise room, home office, a lot of us are working from home. So this seems like a great idea. Amy, you jumped on board. Now you are sisters. Yes. Yes. Um, so what have you seen? What are some of your favorite projects? Um, 
My favorite projects are the ones where people get to explore their hobbies. And so we've mm -hmm. had a guy who makes jewelry from wood. Oh, yeah. I love that one. Uh -huh. um, we've had several different gyms that have been really neat. Aaron and I both love Pilates. So nice. that's been really cool to see to come together. Mm -hmm. um, Our most yesterday, <laughs> um, we have a homeowner who plays the bagpipes. Wow. So she's going to yeah. use it for Definitely needs that space. closed yeah. space for the yes. sound. My absolute favorite is the granny pods. I'm loving how people are bringing in their families yes. and mm -hmm. having their moms nearby. Yes. Um, I, that is, I mean, they're having all their childcare with their moms yes. and taking care yes. of the grandkids, yes. bringing them close. You guys are sisters. How has it been working together? <laughs> well, we also live next door to each other. Wow, that's so awesome. We really don't get sick of each other. It's kind of nice. That's awesome. that's <laughs> yeah, beautiful. we've really, we've learned to work really well together. So something that's really important to us is that we're a one-stop shop. We do it all. We do, um, we give yeah. you everything you need to submit for your HOA. We mm -hmm. do all the permitting. And we try to take care of all those steps so that the customer is literally just waiting for it to be built. Now that we've seen some of the many samples of elbow rooms, time to take a look inside this one. Now, first thing I notice is this setup here, I guess it's like almost like a deck, right? Right, we have a deck option. Mm -hmm. and we do them in a four foot depth or an eight foot depth. And we only use Trex composite. We have three different colors that you choose from. I really like it because I feel like you can, like you did here, you have some nice greenery and you can also decorate, make it very inviting. Yeah, add rocking chairs and sit outside Ooh. together. And you mentioned to me about the siding. Tell me more about that. Yes, yeah, so um, we love a product that is a James Hardy siding and it is color plus. So all of the color is baked into it. It means you don't have to paint it. It has a 15 year warranty on it. Nice. And then the lights, the lights add a perfect touch too right here. Yeah, so these come with all of our units. Oh, right. Ooh, yes, this feels great. The first thing I notice, it's nice and oh, yeah. cool in here. Each of our units uh, comes with a mini split. It comes with all the interior lights that you see. Everything is fully finished out. It's all part of the package from the uh, vinyl plank that we use to drywalling and um, all the electrical packages, even an ethernet cable in case you want to use it for a home office. Our mission statement is to create a space for the things that are close to your heart to be close to your home. Oh, I love that. That's yeah. Beautiful. Well, I mean, that, that is exactly how you started it. Yes. Yes. For more information, head over to salive.com, click the As Seen on SA Live tab, and for more Happy Space inspiration, you can also click the Happy Space tab. Still ahead on SA Live, does your kid love basketball? There's a fundraising event this weekend where they can hoop it up. Details ahead. But first, it's easier than ever to get your hands on these designer over-the-top milkshakes where you can find this brand new food truck and what they have special for Mother's Day weekend. That's next on SA Live. Welcome back to SA Live. Well, our next guest has been making over-the-top milkshakes for four years. Now her business is expanding in a big way. Alexandra Moya, owner of Milkshake Mode, is here yet again, okay, to show us some of your newest creations. And of course, talk about some of the exciting things that are happening yes. for you. A lot of exciting things. I'm very it. happy and I'm excited about uh, my new grand opening. So um, we have quite a few things on new on the menu, so we definitely want to uh, showcase, showcase that, that. right? Yes. And let's talk about one of your newest creations because it's right here. Yes, so this is going to be our designer milkshake. Um, you can't see it because it's, you know, kind of blended in, but um, we are going to be having our designer milkshakes which have different logos. You know, the famous like Louis Vuitton, Chanel, the Gucci, they're going to be on top. And so that is going to be something that a lot of, you know, our San Antonio viewers like. We like um, fancy, bougie. Labels, <laughs> Yes, baby. labels. So we definitely <laughs> want to, you know, give that feel for everybody. And so that's basically um, how that one is. And this one's going to actually have espresso. Um, that's one of the other things that we are offering is coffee um, for milkshake mode. So that's our new addition I to the food it. truck. Mm -hmm. And of course, Mother's Day is coming up. Yes. And you've got a special kind of Mother's yes. Day treat, right? Yes. Okay. I'm All gonna right, go so ahead and start with that. So mm -hmm. we're gonna first start with our vanilla ice cream. Mm -hmm. so I'm just gonna dump that in. Excuse the mm -hmm. messiness. Okay. And then I'm gonna add the whole milk. Okay. And the other ingredients are what? We just kind of mentioned them. I'm gonna add um, strawberries. I, I use fresh strawberries, but I also like using the frozen strawberries uh, just because it gives it um, 
a little bit smoother texture mm -hmm. and it keeps it colder. You know, hot yep. summers in Texas. Of course. So, you know, it gets a little hot and we don't want that, you know, melting too fast. Okay. So, we'll fire that up. Yes. Okay. And then now we're just going to I decorate see. the cup. This is how you rim this glass, yes. <laughs> this cup. Okay. With I'll just icing. The, so that's mm -hmm. strawberry icing. Yes. Okay. I just want the whole pink mm -hmm. look here. And I'll just do the front. Okay. You could do it all around mm -hmm. if you prefer. Mm -hmm. Gives it more of a look. And then just dunk it. And then just dunk it in. Mm -hmm. We okay. want that Mother's Day feel. So everything pink, right? <laughs> yes. All right, and then you're just going to pour that yes, in there? Yes, we're going to pour okay. this in. So while you're doing that, you have big news, right? A food yes, truck? Yes, food truck. So I just got my food trailer last year, mm -hmm. and we finally got it going. And you know how everything takes a long time, permits and all that. So mm -hmm. we finally got it going. I'm super excited. We're going to have our grand opening on May 7th. So I'm super excited. All right, tomorrow. Very yes, exciting. Tomorrow. Okay. And while you're getting that into that cup, what made you start making crazy milkshakes? Well, I used to be a chef, so I went to culinary school. Mm -hmm. I always had a passion for milkshakes. I'm sorry, milkshakes, food in general. Mm -hmm. uh, but um, I don't know, one day I was just like, I want a really good milkshake. And I, I wanted something that I didn't see around San Antonio. Right. I, you know, I add guanches to my, ice, or my milkshakes and things like that. <laughs> and besides, of course, the milkshakes, you mentioned coffee and yes. there are croissants too? Yes, so we're gonna have um, daily pastries there. Mm -hmm. um, these are some of the croissants that we're gonna have with the pink and then this actually has the gold. Um, 14 karat, like edible gold, so you can eat this. <laughs> it's very bougie, very delicious though. I, I wanted something a little bit different, a little girly. Anything that from our local bakeries, we wanna kinda get our local bakeries to uh, give those to us daily. Okay. So what's next for milkshake mode? So, well, just the, we just definitely wanna expand the, the menu. Um, like I mentioned, coffee and things like that. So we're just looking forward to the grand opening. It's gonna have a DJ, we're gonna have DJ Allen um, E there. And we're gonna have um, some free prizes and things like that. Um, just different activities that everybody can do um, so they can take pictures and kind of like showcase the milkshakes. Yes. All right. Okay, I'll take a sip right. of this, okay. <laughs> Don't miss the grand opening of the Milkshade Mode Truck. She'll be at the Alamo Ranch Food Truck Park tomorrow, Saturday, May 7th. For more information, just head to our website, salive.com, and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab, or yes. just snap that QR code on your screen. Still ahead on SA Live, nothing beats spending quality time with mom. I mean, that's all mom wants. Time where you can enjoy a mother-daughter cooking class inspired by a popular TV show. And up next, Hoop it up with your kids this weekend for a good cause. We'll tell you how. Keep it here on SA Live. Do your kids love basketball? If so, there is a fundraising event this weekend where they can really hoop it up. And joining me right now is Jermaine Collier, franchise owner of Hoop It Up. Hello, hello. Hello, how you doing? All right, so much fun, you know, set to be had this weekend um, for kids who love basketball or want to get into basketball. What is Hoop It Up 3-on-3? Three three? Hoop It Up 3-on-3 three three is a basketball tournament that goes around different states and also different countries. Play 3-on-3 three three basketball, a new phenomenal game. It's also an Olympic sport now. So it's Olympic sport now, and how have we done in it? <sighs> we haven't been doing too good. We got our butt kicked this year. America, we need to step it up. So we you, need, you want to start them younger, right? You got to start them younger. <laughs> got to start them younger. All right. So what is UABA Ultimate Athletes Basketball Academy? It's my nonprofit. My daughter and I, we started where we do schools tours. So we go around in different cities, different countries, and different states. We talk to kids. We do motivational speaking. We do basketball training and also teach them the fundamentals of basketball. All right. And so, Zori, of course, your daughter right here. Tell us, would you rather play three on three or five on five and why? Um, I like three on three mainly because you get to showcase your individual skills and the fact that there's less people on the court really just helps you build more chemistry with your team. Right. I mean, there's only three of you, yeah. you know, making this happen. So what are your future goals with basketball? Um, I want to play pro basketball. I want to play uh, Olympic 3v3, but I also want to influence uh, 3v3 within the community. I love it. Aren't you so proud? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Okay, so um, wh why do 3v3 instead of 5-on-5 five five for the tournament? 
Three on three, uh, there's more cardio involved, believe it or not, than five on five. Five on five, you can take a break if nobody's passed you the ball. Three on three, you have to move. You gotta play defense. So from the cardio aspect of it, and also for the development aspect of it, kids get more touches with the basketball. There ain't too many people on the court, they gotta respond, they gotta show what they can do. And also you give a chance to show your individual talent. They're really invested in the moment, right? Absolutely. Okay, and so do you have any summer camps coming up? I do. It's uh, Monday through Friday, Ultimate, Bas Ultimate Athletes Basketball Academy, 9 to 3 p.m. So we're there for a few hours working on yoga, fundamentals of basketball, Vertimax training. We have shooting machines. We had everything you need to become an elite basketball player. Now you mentioned you travel internationally as well to share the love of basketball. Where have you gone recently? We just came back from a place called Santa Ana, Costa Rica in the San Jose area. How was that? It was beautiful, beautiful. It's hard to come back, but we had to do it. We had to do it. All right, and why did you start training youth for sports? One thing is the big problem of childhood obesity and type 2 diabetes, and my degree is in exercise science, and I want to do something about that. So instead of just teaching the sport of, of uh, the, the fundamental of sport, I want to teach them the conditioning part too, just to get them off the video games. This generation, they video games and iPhones all day, every day. So instead of being a fan of LeBron James, these guys understand what they do when the camera's not rolling. Okay. It's preparation and teach them work ethic as well. All right, so again, event happening this weekend, fill them in on what they need to know. Uh, we're going to do it at the Rolling Oaks Mall. I have a facility there, uh, 3 v 3 We're doing it Saturday, starting at 6.30. Come 5.30, I have the shooting machines out. You guys come work on your jump shot. It's going down at 6.30. And Sunday, we have a shooting competition. So it's a full event. All right, great weekend ahead. Thank you so much for more information, of course, on the Hoop It Up 3-on-3 three three fundraising event this weekend. And, of course, on Jermaine Collier, franchise owner with Hoop It Up. Just head to our website, salive.com, and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab or just snap that QR code on your screen. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Huh? Still ahead on SA Live, you won't find these gifts in any store. How you can create a one-of-a-kind gift for mom, and it won't cost you a lot of money. And next, it's a special event for mothers and daughters where you can have fun learning to cook recipes inspired by a popular TV show. Don't go anywhere. You're watching SA Live. If you're looking for something to do this Mother's Day weekend that's a bit outside the box, how about a mother-daughter Downton Abbey tea cooking class? Our friends at Fisher and Weezer Farmstead are here, and that's happening in Fredericksburg this weekend. We're going to get a sample of maybe something that you would see at a tea party, right? A chicken salad? Exactly, exactly. At the cooking class, they're going to be doing coronation chicken salad because it is Downton Abbey themed. But we thought it would be fun to just talk about how easy it would be to get the family together and make a simple chicken salad for mom. And Jen, you can see how few ingredients yes. we have just right here. Talk about simple, right? Yeah, very <laughs> simple. And we just mix in a little bit of our broad house beer mustard that you can find at HEB and it makes it delicious. So let's see, you want to go ahead and put a little bit of mayonnaise in there. How about sure. a couple of um, spoonfuls? And okay. everybody, you know, you make your salad to your liking. Okay, yeah. And this and is I'll, something that's great for all the warmer months, right? Just all summer. Absolutely. <laughs> so I'm going to put some dill relish in there. You can also use sweet. And if you mm -hmm. could do a couple of spoonfuls of that. This mustard. That's our Brat House oh. beer mustard dip. You I've find it that. in the cooking connection at HEB. So if you're a mustard person, you're going to want more of that. If you're a mayonnaise person, you'll just want to do more mayonnaise. Good to know. I like how you can you can make it so many different ways, chicken salad, right? And that's it's fun for the kids to be able to throw in their ingredient and all that good mm, stuff. And then we just good. top it with some of these wonderful Texas pecans mm. and mix it up. And, and these are such simple recipes. I know on your website you have so many that pair nicely with the sauces, right? It makes it that's easy. That's right. That's right. We Great taste is made here. That's what we say with mm -hmm. Fisher and Weezer. And so we have all kinds of great ideas for you and what you could do for any occasion, really. So we have a yummy finished product here if you want to take Beautiful. a bite. Beautiful. Yes. Let me grab some of this. Now, for those who have not been out, there's been some changes out at Das Peach House, what is what it was known as, but now Fisher and Weezer Farmstead because there's some new... Uh, 
um, things on the property? Would yes, you there's mention? really a lot mm -hmm. to do at the Fisher and Weezer mm -hmm. Farmstead. <laughs> of course, our flagship store is there, Das Peach House, where it all began back in the day, 1969. And uh, of course, our cooking school that we've talked about before, but it was kind of on the down low during the pandemic. Mm -hmm. It's fully open again. We've got lots of fun classes. Our son Dietz and our daughter Ellie just opened the Dietz Distillery right next door to Das Peach House. That's exciting. So there's all kind of good things you can try there. Okay. And of course, sitting by the pond and having a glass of wine and wine tasting. So mm. pretty much fun for everybody. And the peach orchards, we know that will kick in maybe more towards summer. Yes. But something to look forward to on the property. Now, speaking of this new um, Dietz is what it's called, distillery? Dietz Distillery. You have some cocktails. We do. And today, for your mom, we have a French 75. And it's made with our five judges gin. Mm -hmm. it, you just take one and a half ounces of gin, half an ounce of simple syrup, which if you don't know how to do that, it's just simply three cups of sugar to water oh, okay. and mix it up and put it in the fridge when it's ready and then some le lemon juice and top it off with some champagne. Ooh, perfect for Mother's Day, I must say. Whoop, I know I'm not the best at pouring You're here. You're doing good. But very exciting that you have this class coming up. So for those who may want to attend, can you tell me a little bit about the Yes, the you, class? you just go and sign yeah. up at jelly.com. It's the Downton Abbey Mother's Day brunch. Uh, you're gonna have, you're gonna learn how to make coronation chicken salad, mm -hmm. traditional tea sandwiches, tea, and everything mm -hmm. that goes with a wonderful English tea. So it should be a lot of fun, especially for Downton Abbey fans. Perfect, we have all of that information on our website. So again, if you want to take part in the mother-daughter tea cooking class. It's this Sunday at the Fisher and Weezer Farmstead, the cooking school there on the grounds from 2 to 4 p.m. salive.com for more information. Click the As Seen on SA Live tab. Deanna, thank you. Cheers, Cheers. and happy Mother's Day happy to Mother's you. Happy Mother's Day to you. Still ahead on SA Live, it's Friday and one SA Live viewer is about to get an incredible prize. See what's up for grabs and how you can be the next big winner. And next, they look like you bought them in a store, but these gifts are handmade. How you can save money and give mom a gift from the heart. You don't want to miss this. Welcome back to SA Live. Well, time is running out to shop for Mother's Day, but there's always time to make something from the heart. And it's priceless too, right? Local artist Stephanie Pena Frost from Princess and the Monkey Home Decor is here to show us some gifts mm -hmm. mom will love that won't cost you a lot, but right. she will cherish forever. Because they're handmade, they're gifts yes. from the heart. You can't yes. go wrong with that. All right, so what's our first one? So the first one we're going to do is the planter here. So, I mean, we have countless amounts of tin cans. We just, I just, I saved a couple, painted them, and then uh, you want to take some dowels cut them to the, your desired length. I picked those up at the hardware store mm -hmm. and glue them to the bottom. Or, I mean, if you don't want to, you don't have to, but I think they're so cute with them, with them on the stand. And then you, um, once they're glued, you can decorate them with some, with some dried flowers or silk flowers or write on them, kind of whatever you would like to do to make them extra special for mom. And then you put a, put a little plant in it. Uh, this one here, I added rocks to the bottom and then dropped a succulent into it. That way, you don't have to drill a hole in the bottom of it. Right. We need longer glue sticks. We need longer, yeah, <laughs> yeah, we need longer, need glue, longer stick. glue sticks. Okay. Yes. There we go. So that will dry. That'll then dry. Obviously, I can turn it over like and this. like this. Okay. And then you decorate it with some little flowers. Okay. So you can you, just put it on you put the edges. The, on the edges. Mm -hmm. So we have this one here. Gotcha. So I'm using this as a as a little container for um, for pins and pencils. The dab of glue. Mm -hmm. Dabba dabba dabba. Dabba dabba dabba. Okay, something like that up. Yeah, and, and look it makes that. it very Mother's Day. <laughs> and yeah, and you can use it as a pencil holder, pen holder, something she can use on her desk. Drop a little pretty orchid mm -hmm. in there, and it's a great pot idea. Yes, and right. the next thing we're going to do, we're going to make these the flower arrangement for mom. And they are the wood embroidery hoops that you could get at the craft store. I painted them white. I glued three together. I got these little uh, cake stands and I glued everything on top of that 
and then you just kind of stick some flowers in it and it's a nice arrangement that she can keep up year round because it's not you don't have to water it you don't have to tend to it <laughs> no, completely <laughs> low maintenance, completely low right? maintenance. <laughs> you can use old uh, silk flowers that you had left over from different crafts so you don't always have to go out and buy anything new kind of make it personal and make it your own well, I love that and you found what's inside right here yes. that's just up from the Dollar Tree right it's from up one of your you know nice convenient little dollar stores. So I took apart the card, I took the front out, I took the saying out from the inside of the card, glued it onto the back, so it makes it also a gift card as well. So it's a, it's a nice new way to do it. And it's, and that's not glued in, so she could always just take it out afterwards. Love it! Yes. Okay, and then of course you can finish it off with, with a, a nice little bow. bow. Mm -hmm. okay. Simple bow, just glue it right on there. Right here at the bottom. Okay. Yeah. All right, now for a treat. treat. I Every love this. mom okay. loves a treat. Yes. And these are the simplest two ingredient treats. You can do this with your kids. It was a half a cup of heavy cream, put it in the microwave, get it boiling. Then I took a cup of, of uh, chocolate chips or the peanut butter chips and mixed it together, mm -hmm. put it in the refrigerator, and then I made these little balls afterwards. And then you just roll them in, you roll them in your favorite topping. It could be the cocoa, I got the sprinkles, or some, um, some coconut there and drop it in a cute little box. Once again, I got it at one of your discount stores. Put a liner of, a cupcake liner in it. So it makes it pretty, kind of gives it some color. And these little boxes, if you said where those were from, I missed it. Those are from the Dollar Tree as well. I knew it. Yes, I thought they yes. looked familiar, but that's fantastic. You are reusing, you're recycling. Right. It's a gift that you could plant for later. <laughs> it's perfect. And she doesn't have to feel like you spent too much money on me. No, mom, it's, a, it's from the heart. Yes. And of course, if folks go to your website, what can they find? They can find a bunch of different gift ideas. I will have links and pictures of all of these on there as well. That we can You can see how to make these for your mom. All right. For more information on Princess and the Monkey Home Decor and Stephanie Pena Frost, all you have to do is head to our website, essaylive.com, and click on the As Seen on Essay Live tab. Next on the show, every spin is a win with the KSAT Insider Prize Wheel. See what's up for grabs today and how you can be the next big winner. It's Friday, and that means we're spinning the KSAT Insider Prize Wheel for a new winner. All the prizes on the wheel today are provided by the Thompson San Antonio Riverwalk. Now it's time to meet our winner, Christina oh. Ismael from San Antonio. Congratulations! Hello. Hi, thanks. <laughs> so uh, we hear that you have been watching KSAT for a long time, is that right? Yeah, for a very, very long time, me and my family and now my girls watch it too, so, you know, we all been watching it for years. <laughs> I love that, devoted KSAT watchers. Now tell us a little bit about yourself. I hear you're a mom and a grandma, is that right? Yes, yeah, I'm a grandma. I have uh, my grandson and my granddaughter, Aubrey and Kingsley. I have four girls. Four girls, wow, awesome. Okay, now they're all watching KSAT, is that right? Yes, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I hope so. Okay, so you have a birthday this week also, right? Happy birthday. Today. Oh yeah. Happy birthday to you, that's so exciting. Okay, so question is, what do you hope to win today? Well, basically maybe if they have like a, a little me pack by myself, you know. <laughs> yes. Without the grandkids. <laughs> right, right. You need some of that, right? Some alone time? Okay. Just a little bit. Yes, yes. We all need that. <laughs> all right. Are you ready to spin the wheel? Yeah, I'm ready. Okay, why don't you count me down, okay? Three, two, one. All right, here we go. Oh. All right, we have quite a few prizes here. The Spa-tastic, the Escape the Heat at the pool, and it's landed on breakfast for two. <laughs> All yeah. right, breakfast for two, that is a $60 value, and that's with Chef Stephen McHugh at Landrace, and the valet parking is also included for one vehicle. So that is, let me tell you, that is some delicious food there. So, so, yeah, you, oh, you're gonna love it. You're gonna love it, congratulations on your big win and a big thank you to Christina for watching SA Live. We really appreciate it. And, right. <laughs> and to the Thompson San Antonio Riverwalk, this month's prize will sponsor. Mm -hmm. Now we're going to be spinning the KSAT Insider prize will for the new winner every week. 
and you could be next. But you have to be a KSAT Insider. For details on how to enter, visit the website ksat.com slash insider. And Christina, thank you again and congratulations. Monday on SA Live, it's an entire day dedicated to transforming your home. We're showing you how to tackle big and small projects yourself and some hacks to make life easier. Plus, a room makeover you have to see to believe. Our pros share tips to help turn you into a design expert and make any space in your home a happy space. It's Monday at 1 on SA Live's Home Improvement Show. But right now, are parts of your house too warm? You might have an airflow issue. KSAT local expert John Wayne Service Company shows us what you can do to fix it. Hi, I'm Brian from John Wayne Service Company. Today we're gonna investigate a customer who has an airflow issue in one of their bedrooms. Let's go check it out. Okay, we're here at the customer's house. We've got some diagnostic tools. We're gonna go down uh, the checklist and do an evaluation for them. Our first step today is gonna check the air conditioner. We're gonna look at the fan speed, make sure that's correct. So we've checked the fan speed and the airflow is correct. Right now we're gonna check the airflow in the problem room. This is called a flow hood. It's just gonna measure how much airflow is actually coming out of our vent here. So it's very important that we check each room, not just the problem room. We wanna make sure we're looking at each room individually and then the house as a whole. So this is a room by room drawing of our house. It has all of the duct work, where the unit is located, and then each room individually. Now that we've measured every room and taken a look at the numbers, we did find an imbalance. For our problem room, we need to put more air in that room. So the next step is gonna be making some adjustments to the ductwork and some of the dampers to get more air flow in that room. Okay, so we've made a great improvement there. That's exactly what we want. What we found was it was a little bit low, so I was able to add some more airflow to that through the adjustments that we made. End result is that it improved 20% in that room. Oh, that's so that's gonna be a big improvement for you. Yep. Okay, we're all finished up. We got some increased airflow in their bedroom. The customers are very happy. I'm Brian from John Wayne. If you feel like you have any issues like that in your house, give us a call or visit us at johnwayne.com. All right, earlier, we asked you, of course, to share photos of the moms in your life. There's three generations of us right there. <laughs> and happy Mother's Day to my beautiful 72 years young mama, Susan. Doesn't matter how old we are, we always need our moms. Yes, indeed. And Harry sends my beautiful mother, Estela Valdez Lopez. And of course, I love you, mom. And favorite pick of my daughter and I that makes me smile every time. Just finishing up three mile walk in the neighborhood, hills, and one more mile, mom. <laughs> <laughs> Milagros sends this, my mom, Milagros Gonzalez, and me. My mom and sister. What a great picture of the three of them. And Lisa Ann sends me and my mom, Esperanza. Happy Mother's Day weekend, y'all. And one more, me and my mom, Margie. Hi, Beautiful Margie. smiles. <laughs> And again, happy Mother's Day to all the moms out there, and happy Mother's Thank Day to you, you, my dear. Have a great weekend. <laughs>